So today I'm going to show you how to make another bot. And this one is a pretty cool one because you can use information from an RSS feed, like a news site, to write articles or news items to go on a blog. Where you might see this is where you have a whole pile of news articles from all over the world, but they fit within a certain theme. So in this case, I'm going to be looking at fire as the theme or bushfire. And then it finds all of the articles about bushfire and curates them into one feed. And then it chooses each one and writes a unique article based on the original article and references that, then posts it to a WordPress blog. Now, you could use this in your business to actually share information about a topic that you're well known for. So you might be an AI specialist or an accounting specialist. And you could take a feed from, say, if you're an accountant, from the Australian Tax Office or the US Tax Office. And every time they put out a new article, you can take that, rewrite it, and put it out to the people who follow you also creating SEO content for your website. Now this is working with a WordPress site because obviously it has the ability to post and works well with make.com. Uh, obviously you can use that with all sorts of websites. It just depends on whether you can connect them or not. So let's get started on this and have a look. So what I've done is I've created the first module here, which is watches RSS feeds. So it watches the RSS feed and sees if any news article comes. Uh, every time it sees a new news article, and I've set it to run every hour, as you can see here, if it sees a new news article, it's come up in the last hour, it takes the latest article, and then it feeds it into OpenAI and says, based on this article, please write me a unique topic. And this topic becomes your headline. Now you can adjust that and make it do all sorts of things and make it clickbaity or whatever you want and it will write that and store that in a variable that then you can use later on when you do your blog post because you need your title of the blog post. So in this case, we take the feed and we put that information into our blog title writer using OpenAI. We basically feed it in, say you're a news blog writer and you need to write the title based on the title and the URL. So you ask it to actually read the article and then come up with an SEO article title. Pretty simple. We then send that RSS feed on further and we put that into OpenAI and get it to write the article. So we're going to ask it to actually write an article that contains all the information and it's going to cross-reference that information and it's going to put it all together for us in just a text article because I don't really want to use lots of formatting here. I can do that myself if I want to or I just can have it just go straight in a straight like news feed. And then finally, we go to WordPress and it feeds all that information across in WordPress and it takes the title and I've put a capitalize here so that it puts capital letters at the front of each uh, word and then the content. And then that's linked to my WordPress blog. And when I press go, I click. So when it's done, it'll show up here and you'll see the latest articles all listed there. So if I click run once, it'll run this. So it goes to the RSS feed, we can see that ah, it didn't choose any data, so I have to choose where to start. So I'm going to go to the RSS feed and I'm going to choose an item. Obviously this thing is running live, so I'm going to come down and just choose something down here. Here we go, here's one, firebombing aircraft. Now if I click run once, it should find that article now. Let's go, there it is, it's found that. It's now fed it onto the blog title and it's writing that. And we can see here it's spat that out. There's our title that it had. Now it's writing the unique post. And once that's done, hey presto, it goes onto WordPress. So if we come over here, we refresh, we should see here our new article. And if we come in, we'll see here firefighting deployed to contain. There's our capital letters and all our information regarding that article and our original article and verified by other areas. So pretty straightforward and a pretty cool little automatic blog creator for you that uses RSS feeds. Now, just be aware, there's a few things you've got to be aware of. First is that it can hallucinate. It will make things up. Also, if you're using news feeds, it can't listen to video. So it has to be a text-based news feed. Now, I've run this for multiple days. It runs really well. I have no problems with it, but I did have to narrow down what feeds I was using. Remember, you can get an RSS feed from like Google News, 
but you can also use other tools to create the RSS feed. So you can do a search on Google News for a particular topic, then feed the resulting URL into rss.app, and that will create an RSS feed for you. So depending on what you want, you can create specific feeds. But what I'm looking at to expand this is I'm actually looking to aggregate a whole range of different feeds. So I can take RSS feeds from, say, 10 different sites, have a look at them, poll them, find out if there's any new articles on any of them, and then take one of those, feed it into my blog title and so on and so forth. So this can be expanded out and I have started expanding it out in another make page. But I thought I'd just show you this one first because it's kind of interesting and it's a really great way to curate content for your website so that you're continuously creating information that will grow your blog, produce SEO content and bring the search engines to your site, as well as producing interesting information for the people who read your information. And of course, the further extrapolation of this is you can use those articles in a newsletter if you want to. So I'll look at doing that in a different video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you've got any questions, write them in the comments below.